Hey guys, it's Jay, and welcome to our quick tips video about MSC experience levels. This is not something that we were familiar with, but after cruising on the Armonia, we did a decent amount of research into this program. So when you book a cruise with MSC, not only do you choose a cabin type, like, you know, interior, ocean view, balcony, and all that, but you also choose an experience level. The level you choose depends on what sort of extra perks and things that you get for your cruise. So we will start out with the basic level, which is called Bella. Basically, Bella is you are on the ship and there are not a whole lot of extra perks. I like how the website lists things like, oh, you get the buffet and the fixed time dining room and kids club and theater shows and pool and gym. Like, you know, these are things that everybody on the ship gets. So basically you are on the ship, no real special extra perks. The next level up from that is called Fantastica. And basically you get everything that the Bella level gets, which is not much. And you also get room service and breakfast delivered to your stateroom. It's listed as 24 hour room service with free delivery, breakfast in your stateroom with free delivery and the actual breakfast free of charge. You also get priority choice of dinner seating, which I guess that just means that if you get wait listed for either your choice of early seated time or late seated time, you would get priority at actually, you know, getting that request granted. Their website also says that balcony cabins and suites on the Opera, Lyrica, Sinfonia, and Armonia can have dinner in the dedicated restaurants with time-flexible My Choice dining, so you wouldn't necessarily be locked into an assigned time. The Fantastica folks also get to select from the best available staterooms. Uh, normally the Bella package, you get to choose your cabin, but you might be a little bit forward, a little bit aft, you know, lower decks, which we like lower decks. But Fantastica, you get a little bit more flexibility as to where you can be on the ship. You know, you might get those midship cabins, or if you want to be higher on the ship, things like that. You also get additional kids activities and classes and reading their website it looks like that is some foreign language learning games and do-re-mi chef cooking sessions that i guess are not available for bella folks and you also get one complimentary professional photo taken during mediterranean night in the main restaurant uh, when we sailed the Armonia, that was supposed to be on Italian night, but they actually never came around to take our photo. We talked to the photo gallery people to see if they could make a substitution, and they said that they could not, so we did not end up with our complimentary photo. And that is about it for the Fantastica level. Uh, one level up from that is the Aurea level, which I've seen some wording that I believe also calls this the wellness level. They seem to be the same thing, but anyway, we will go with the wording Aurea. And this is basically their spa level. So you get everything that the Bella and Fantastica folks got, plus unlimited drinks package, which is their easy drink package. You get their well-being package, which includes one massage of your choice up to 60 minutes from the spa menu, the tanning booth, a spa welcome cocktail, and a private Medi Spa doctor consultation, plus access to the thermal area throughout the cruise, relaxation amenities in each cabin, which includes bathrobe and slippers. You can dine anytime you choose, so you get the flexible dining option, priority boarding, access to private sun decks, the MSC for me wristband, which is available currently on the Grandiosa, the Bellissima, and the Meraviglia, which is a wearable waterproof device to enjoy the ship without your cruise card. You can use it for making purchases, booking services, and unlocking your stateroom, and an MSC gift. And last up, we have the Yacht Club, which is technically not an experience. They don't lump it into that section on their website, but they refer to it as their Ship Within a Ship program. So as of the recording of this video, it is available on these ships, as you see on screen, and it includes dedicated priority check-in and check-out, 24-hour butler service and a dedicated concierge, 24-hour room service, private areas, which includes the top sail lounge and the one pool deck, which has a private swimming pool and whirlpools, a sun deck and a bar, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the dedicated restaurant, and you get free choice of dining time during restaurant opening hours, unlimited drinks in all MSC Yacht Club areas, including the mini bar, complimentary beverage selection in all onboard bars and restaurants, complimentary access to the thermal suite in the MSC Aria Spa, the relaxation amenities, which are the bathrobes and slippers, a newspaper delivered directly to your stateroom upon request, a premium internet package up to four gigabytes, depending on the length of your cruise, and the MSC for me wristband, as we talked about earlier. So quite a few of the spa experiences built into the Yacht Club, it seems. But that is about it for the MSC Experiences Overview. So just something to keep in mind when you're booking with MSC that you'll have to choose a cabin type and you'll have to pick one of these experiences. Like I said, we did the Fantastica experience when we sailed the Armonia because we thought we were going to be using a lot more room service and things like that. We didn't end up using room service, but I'm still glad that we booked the Fantastica package. I think it helped us get a little bit more prime cabin positioning, you know, and things like that. 
So that is it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you missed any of our actual vlogs from the Armonia series, they are over on the channel as well. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, rock on!